You're traveling around Japan when you enter a fruit shop to buy something to snack on. You look around the store when you suddenly spot a square watermelon, just like user Anwesh M4 did. You rub your eyes, but, yup, it's a real thing. And it costs a fortune. Some are sold for prices as high as 200 bucks. These watermelons are grown in a square box, which helps them to get the funny shape. But they have to be picked before they are ripe, so you can't really eat them. They are more decorative, and apparently rich people love them. Tell us, would you ever buy one of these? In the same store, you decide to pick up some berries. Oh, look, strawberries. I guess user, the Daminal 8888 spotted it first. But wait a minute, why do they look so pale? They are super ripe and super sweet, although they look like they've still got a long way to go before maturing. Here's the thing. A Japanese farmer spent years crossbreeding different species of strawberry to create this delicious pine berry. They are sweeter in flavor, larger in size, have a softer mouthfeel, and look much paler than their red cousins. This variety has been around since 2012. And there's a plus. People who are allergic to strawberries will have way less problems eating this variety. Hmm, they kind of remind me of white chocolate though. Yum! You've probably heard that in Japan there are some pretty amazing toilets. The Japanese are known for their huge advancements in toilet making. For example, this toilet that user Dea underscore seven underscore nine posted has a built-in sink in it, and it's even equipped with a soap holder. The idea is that the water used to wash your hands is reused when you press the flush button. Oh, and then there was that time when some transparent public toilets were installed in the middle of the city. Thanks for the footage, Quoki13. The main idea was to prove that not all public toilets are dirty and yucky. I know what you're thinking. If the walls are transparent, then won't pedestrians see people doing their business? Nope. The technology behind it made the walls of the bathroom go opaque when you locked the door. This way, people couldn't see a thing. Oh, and still on the topic of toilets, this Japanese building has a toilet with a view. And when I say view, I mean a rooftop view of the city. The best Wii you'll have in your life, that's for sure. Or at least that's what user Hella My Name Is Borat showed us. When you think you've seen it all in this lifetime, think again. Japan is known for having its share of earthquakes. They experience something around 1,500 earthquakes per year on the island. This means that they need to take some precautions. As it turns out, people are bound to get stuck in elevators during one of the quakes. So companies assumed that it was better to put some portable potties inside elevators, just in case people remain stuck for longer than they can hold it in. Thanks Declan Mar for this lovely pick. As the saying goes, it's better to be safe than sorry. Of course, the potties are super high tech like most things the Japanese developed. Imagine you're a tourist getting to know your way around Tokyo. You've just visited the Akihabara district, which is one of Japan's most modern and technological centers. You've got to check out some museums and you feel ready to do some shopping. You stumble upon a Muji store and oh my, you can't believe your eyes when you find a compressed t-shirt. Similar to the one user laner 95 posted, this teeny tiny package contains a good quality t-shirt inside. You buy it, of course. Back at your Airbnb, you smell someone in the house brewing a cup of coffee and they offer you some. Little did you know that they would brew a cup specifically for you. I mean, individually. Thanks BLXP for showing us what you found over there. Honestly, this just makes me think how Japan is years ahead of the rest of the world. Oh, while you're here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We promise to deliver only the best content. Here's a known fact. Japan is an island. And here's a not-so-known fact. Japan is the land of vending machines. You'll find vending machines with a huge variety of stuff inside of it, from the bananas machine that Belba Guy posted to the fish broth machines that Manly Flower put up online. Apparently, the country has the highest number of machines per capita in the world. You can find them all over the country. There are even some on top of Mount Fuji for hikers to rehydrate after their long climb. Some say these vending machines are Japan's way to automate for the future. I mean, they're quick, they're easy, they're high tech. When you have little space to build your business, you're bound to get creative. This is why capsule hotels became so popular in Japan. Thanks fan underscore toss underscore tick for the pics. And they are pretty amazing if you ask me. Can you imagine waking up to this view? Don't expect the room to have anything other than a bed though. Oh, and a place to charge your phone. In the end, this is pretty much what people need. For the rest, they can use the communal areas and perhaps even meet some fun people along the way. You've probably had one or two nightmares where you are driving on a steep road and then suddenly it ends. 
you find yourself free-falling into the abyss, holding tight onto the steering wheel until you finally wake up, <gasps> frightened and relieved that that was nothing but a dream. Phew. Well, in Japan, this nightmare is kind of real and it's called the Eshima Ohashi Bridge. This stunning video is from user Buya082. It was built in the late 1900s, and it's ranked as the third largest bridge in the world. This famous bridge replaced a drawbridge that existed in its place since traffic would stop every seven minutes for ships to pass under it. I know it looks absurdly steep, but in reality, it is not that bad. It's just our eyes and photo lenses playing a trick on us. Users do get excited whenever crossing it, which is why this bridge turned into a meme. We all love hearing stories of everyday heroes. In today's world, an act of kindness rarely goes unnoticed. Let's say you're a biker, and you ride your bike to work every day. You always leave it in the same spot, safe from the rain and overall bad weather. Until one day, you bend to unlock your bike, and you end up knocking someone else's bike straight to the ground. You pick it up, but oh no, you broke the bell. What do you do? Do you run away and hope you get away with it? I bet you wouldn't do what this person did. They wrote an apology note that user Gaijin Poet found claiming they were the culprit, and even left some money to fix the bell. I mean, I'm feeling kind of crappy after this. Riddle me this. What are all the people in the world doing at the exact same pace? They're getting older, of course. That's true for everyone except me, but that's a topic for another time. And as you get older, some things start to be inconvenient, like big stairs or not having anywhere to rest your crane. Except, if you get old in Japan, then that last bit is settled. The latest data shows that 1 in 10 people in Japan are aged 80 or older, which is why the country started taking some precautions. You see, in some Japanese ATMs, like this on user Intel Warrior posted, there are places to hold your crane so that you can calmly take your cash. Imagine your friends called you for some brunch. You dress up and show up at the designated address. It turns out you were the first person to arrive, so you decide to be proactive and grab a table. What you did not expect was to be greeted by a robot waiter like the one user Chris's or due day saw. I mean, what year are we in? 2050? It seems like it really is tomorrow in Japanese territory. Over there, some businesses hire people who have lost the ability to move their legs and bodies to control robot servers. This way, these people still get to make an income and you get to be served by a cool robot. How many flavors of your favorite chocolate bar can you imagine? User quote 666 showed us in this pic. If you're a Kit Kat fan, you've probably tasted the white chocolate version of it. Oh, and also the dark chocolate one, and the pink chocolate edition, which are all pretty yummy. But what if I told you that in Japan, you can multiply that times four and get a bunch of other amazing flavors? By the looks of it, over there, you can devour some special fruity flavors of Kit Kat, a sort of Kit Kat cake, and oh my, there are just too many options. What do you say? Let's book an airplane ticket straight to Tokyo. Ah. Shopping. Who doesn't love to renew their wardrobe and feel like they just bought an entirely new personality? On a good shopping day, you find cheap clothes all in your size. On a bad day, you lose your shopping bag in the middle of the street and arrive back home completely frustrated. Trust me, that happens to some people. If that were to happen in Japan, then you might just get a second chance. Like this lucky person who retraced their steps and found that someone had found their bag and left it untouched in the middle of the sidewalk. Kudos to Japan, honestly. And to user just like Buddy Holly for this pick. If there's one thing that certainly makes people's lives better, it's green public spaces, like parks. Especially if you live in a bustling city. Like any public space, though, it requires a lot of maintenance in order to look good at least in most countries. It looks like in Japan, people are so mindful of their own trash that you can barely see a difference after the park has been officially clean, at least not in these pics from Nismo's 14270R. Some modern companies are going out of their way to build fun environments for their collaborators. You might have heard that some Google facilities have everything from foosball tables to a pool. Like this one user, there are no more names posted. It turns out that in Japan, some companies are also trying to be creative. This one changed normal chairs for dinosaur chairs. You can lean with your back to the tail, or you can shift it around and hug it. Like on this pic from user, I rather change my name. What do you say? Yay or nay? I'd say yay until my back started complaining. I've never been to Japan, but I imagine that most of its countryside looks like a scene from the My Neighbor Totoro movie. This iconic movie led its creator, Hayao Miyazaki, straight to stardom and I guess he can be considered one of Japan's most precious jewels. His creativity led him to envision a real-life interactive museum, 
where animation lovers could touch and experience firsthand some of his creations. It's called the Ghibli Museum, named after Miyazaki's studio. If you ever get to visit this museum, the experience starts with the ticket. Instead of a boring old ticket entrance, the entrance is made of film stills of some of Miyazaki's movies, like these ones User Outpsyched posted. And there's an exact replica of Totoro's cat bus inside, a cafe, a bookstore, and a theater where you can watch short animated films. And speaking of fun parks you can visit while you're traveling through Japan, make sure to add Legoland to your trip. I know Lego makes you think of miniature versions of normal-sized things, but forget that here. This Legoland that Alpha Rancher posted has set a new Guinness World Record for building a life-size Sakura tree using over 800,000 Lego bricks. But that's not all. The park has over 40 attractions and uses around 17 million bricks. I'd say we're coming up with a great itinerary for this Japan trip, huh? There are only so many ways a city can be creative with its urban planning. Apparently, Japan ranks at the top of this fictitious list. For example, some manholes around the country are custom designed to gift dwellers with a little bit more beauty in their daily lives. Thanks, Caliborn Travel, for this pick. Some have carvings of temples, others showcase animals, and there are the ones that are beautiful mosaics. But that's not all. In the late 2000s, the city of Kyoto passed a new landscape law to make the city center look more homogenous. The law banned colorful street signs, which made vendors have to adapt to this new aesthetic. This is why this Starbucks Okidoker posted looks like a traditional Japanese tea house. You might even miss it if you pass by absent-mindedly because the green logo is nowhere to be found. And speaking of beautiful cities, well, urban dwellers also like to leave their mark around town, like the Pick Lab Glab posted. This dude must be a big Star Wars fan. But don't get your hopes up too much. Not all snowmen in Japan look like this. If you've ever been backpacking through Europe, you've probably had to catch a train or two. The amazing thing about Europe is that countries are so close by that you can fall asleep in Belgium and wake up in France, but train rides can be quite exhausting, and more than that, they can be a bit frustrating. Why, you ask? Because you pass by some surreal landscapes and can't stop to enjoy them. Well, this train stop that H1G Bausen posted in Japan has got you covered. This stop has no entries or exists. It doesn't connect you to any other train line. It exists solely for passengers to take a breather and enjoy the view. Genius! There are a few things in life we get embarrassed about doing, but let's face it, we do it anyway, like sticking your gum under the school desk. I know we could get up and walk to the nearest trash can, but since humans tend to be lazy, Japanese people invented something to prevent all this sticking under the table. Yes, you're looking at what looks like a post-it pad inside a chewing gum package. Some gum brands decided to include this in their bigger packages so that people can rightly discard their gums when they're finished chewing. I'm betting their schools are much cleaner than American schools. What's popping over in your part of the world? Not much? Then you should definitely travel to the land of the rising sun. Picture this. You just left your hotel after a nice traditional breakfast. And by that, I mean some miso soup, warm rice, and some green tea. You hop over to the nearest metro station, but you get confused. After all, you're far from fluent in Japanese. You're taking so long that, out of the blue, a man pops up right next to you from inside the ticket booth. Yup, from inside of it, like on the pic posted by Inazumaryoku, and helps you sort out your ticket for you. That's Japan magic for you right there. Give me a high five if you agree that dealing with day-to-day -day bureaucracy is one of the most exhausting chores there is. Let's face it, you're bound to spend hours in line just to have some person tell you you filled your papers wrong and have to come back again another day. I'd say there are a few things that could make this experience less traumatizing. One of them happened to this person, who after hours of waiting in line at a Japanese post office was finally offered a cup of tea, like the pic posted by Chishiki. Japan, 10. Rest of the world, zero. The year we create teletransportation is definitely going to change the world. Imagine not having to sit around for hours in traffic. Well, even if we don't live like the Jetsons yet, some people are opting to use other modes of transportation to move around town, like bicycles. Cycling gets you where you want to go faster while making you healthier along the way. But sometimes the distances are so big that you need to add the subway as well. That's why some subways in Japan have this amazing feature, the PIC posted by Pigeon Smidgen shows us. You can ride your bike to the nearest subway and you even get some help to move them up the escalators. This is the future I'm talking about. 
And speaking of moving around like we're in the future, how about this night bus? Traveling at night saves you a lot of time, that's a fact. But some buses are too uncomfortable to get a good night's sleep and will never substitute your bed. This night bus 9,999 monkeys posted just might do the trick. It's almost like you're flying first class with Emirates, with your own private cabin and all. Users say you even get complimentary slippers. The only downer is that they don't have bathrooms inside. Sure, this spares passengers from the bad smell, but makes them hold their liquids in between stops. Would you give this beauty a go? Tell us in the comments below. You know how the saying goes. When you have to go, you have to go. Potty, of course. And when that happens in a public place, it kind of leaves you in a tough spot. Sure, we've seen that Japan offers the option of clean, transparent public bathrooms. But it also offers another thing. Some bathrooms give you the option of pressing a button that plays soft background music, baffling the sound you make while you're going potty like in this pic, Natsumi underscore XY posted. I guess that brings some comfort, huh? Being a traveler affords you the excuse of being stupid, but only up to a certain point. Sure, you can walk around taking photos of every meaningless detail you find interesting. And more often than not, you'll order the wrong thing in a restaurant because the menu is just too hard to read. Except in Japan, as you can see from the pic posted by Wintersky underscore underscore, over there, there are literal food models showing you exactly what your plate is going to look like. They probably don't have it for all the plates, but do try and order from one of the models available, will you? Between you and me, it's pretty impressive, huh? If you've ever wanted to travel back in time, this just might be your lucky day. I'm sorry, we still haven't invented time travel machines, but we've invented planes and you could hop onto one of those and take a stroll along the Japanese countryside. It won't take you back to the 1800s, but it'll let you marvel at this exotic vending machine which looks like it's a portal to the 1800s, like in this picture posted by 9,999 monkeys. It's the aesthetics that does it for me. I would pick one of each just to get a complete experience. If you're a city person, you're probably used to walking under several construction scaffoldings on your route to work. I think we can all agree that they only make the city uglier. Sure, it's only temporary, and the place will soon look better than before. Or at least, that's what they tell you. But hey, why not do some cute things like in Matcha Worst Pick? I bet this can cheer pedestrians on their daily commute. Haha, <laughs> I love Japan. Forget signatures. If you move to Japan, you get to have your very own hanko. This is a hanko posted by Revelis. It works like a stamp, and instead of signing documents, you can just stamp your personalized hanko with it. Each person has their own stamp. And many people have more than one, actually. You have an everyday hanko, a fancier hanko for financial documents, and you can have a super fancy one you use for once-in-a-lifetime things. We can't talk about Japan without talking about cherry blossoms. It sounds kind of cliche, but it's worth it simply because they are absurdly stunning. When they are in full blossom, they make you feel like you are on the inside of a fairy tale. This pic, posted by Carmageddon, shows it all. The Shingashi River cherry blossoms are famous for that. You can book a boat ride through the river while you marvel at the blossoms straight from underneath them, booking a ride in three, two, one. You know how in America they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Well, in Japan, they should say that a locker one day will end up saving your way. Didn't catch that? I'll break it down for you. In the land of Hello Kitty, some public spaces provide umbrella lockers. They work as an umbrella keeper, where you leave your cash and grab your umbrella for the way. This works great for the unprepared and the non-umbrella lovers. This way you don't have to carry that giant thing with you around all day and still not get soaked on the way. It might just happen that while you are walking down the streets in Japan, you notice something extremely unusual. Over there, it's normal for pet owners to keep their cute little puppies and kittens in prams. So if you bend over to see the baby's face, don't be surprised to see a dog or a cat instead of a small human being. There is conveyor belt sushi, and then there is high-speed train sushi like this one posted by Grendel 123. The difference, you may ask? The latter is much more fun. Sitting down to eat a plate of sushi is an experience all on its own. Rich flavors, yummy fish, and state-of-the-art craftsmanship. Yup, sushi men rock! But sitting down and having it delivered to you by a miniature train just adds to the whole experience. Oh, and if you're in a hurry and stop at a to-go place, they might jolt your order down a super fast conveyor belt as well, which is basically like a super high-speed train too. Now more than ever, working from home has become a thing. 
but let's say you need to show up at your company's headquarters in the afternoon for an in-person meeting. Since it's one of those days, you miss the bus and realize you're running so late you're going to miss the meeting. Well, if this was happening in Japan, you might as well thank the deities of technology because you're covered, as you can see from this pic from 9999 monkeys. You just need to check the location of one of these booths called Telecubes. There, you can sit down, open your laptop, and get on your online call as if you were in the comfort of your very home. The truth is, we know more about outer space than we know about what's lurking under the water of our oceans. But hey, space is pretty dope, isn't it? Now imagine getting to hop on board a space vehicle and spending some downtime at the International Space Station. Or should I say, some uptime? If that were to happen, you would get to be accompanied by this little fellow you can see in the pic posted by Nemotes. Its full name is Gem, internal ball camera, and it's a drone. It floats around with its cute eyes, photographing and making videos of people on board the International Space Station. Isn't it the cutest? You can call it by its nickname, Intball. Okay, here's the drill. You've been called to experience a once-in-a-lifetime ride, but it's hard to describe exactly what it is. It's sort of a roller coaster because the tracks are suspended up in the air, but it's actually a double bicycle, so you can ride alongside one of your favorite peeps. I know it sounds otherworldly, but would you ride it? This pretty surreal attraction is called a sky cycle and people claim it is safe. I guess you get to enjoy a bit of the town's view from up there. But other than that, what's the point of all this? Just kidding. I love it.